Hi there, Kira here with our final 12 by 12 to Traveler's Notebook series. And today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. So each of us, me and Tracy, um, have taken one of the sketches that we've used in previous weeks and we're flipping it. So um, flipping it any way that we want and using any of the sketches that we want. So I'm using the last sketch I used. Um, I will link all of our videos below in this series if you haven't checked them out yet. So this is number five and we've done four previous ones and we each picked two sketches to use and um, just kind of alternated which um, whose sketch we did each week but then this week we decided to just pick one of our previous sketches and just kind of flip it and use it in a different way. So originally I had planned to use the sketch and have it this way so um, with the title down at the bottom and journaling on the left hand side and then I was like you know I don't like that <laughs> I want to flip it this way so I flipped it the other way so the title uh, on top and the journaling on the side but I kind of just mixed it all together towards the end and it doesn't end up looking anything like this sketch <laughs> but that's okay because that's what a sketch is for it's just a jumping off point for you so I use the sketch as more like inspiration this week than anything so I started with this photo of my son and this was on his birthday. We took him to Toys R Us and it was the first time he'd ever been to Toys R Us. And we told him he could pick out any toy that he wanted. He could, we went to the store and he said, pick out anything you want. And obviously within reason, we weren't gonna buy him something that was like thousands of dollars. But we knew that, he, I mean, he's a toddler. He doesn't usually pick stuff that's really expensive. <laughs> So I took this picture of him and he's looking at these um, Thomas the Train train sets and this is actually what he ended up picking was one of these train sets and um, that was his one of his birthday presents so it was a lot of fun. So I started with that picture. I'm using this blue paper which is um, a Citrus Twist exclusive for the month of August. And the back sides are really cute too. It was really hard for me to choose which side to use, but the back side's a little busier and this blue is just a little bit more muted and I thought it could work better for this layout. Um, and I um, used one of these Manila tags and I actually DIY'd these. These are from um, Manila file folders and I created a cut file to do the um, hole reinforcer. If you're interested in a tutorial on those, I could do that for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I started with a, that tag. I pulled out this pink tag and these balloons. Um, these balloons I had tried to use on a previous layout and it just didn't work so I ended up pulling them up and I wanted to save them but there's like paper glued to what to the teal balloon so I have to cover up that part so I'm going to put the August little cut apart there um, and just lay it over the balloon so you don't see that part um, and I just using some kind of random little pieces of ephemera in my stash um, but I kind of wanted to go with the pink teal and yellow um, color scheme since that's what color the balloons are. Um, I am using some chipboard pieces here um, and if you haven't seen any of my layouts previously when I use chipboard I just de-chipboard them so you basically can just take off the majority of the chipboard so it's not too thick because when you're working in a traveler's notebook you really don't want it to be overly thick. Um, I like chunky traveler's notebooks but for the most part you don't want them to be too chunky and so yeah I just de-chipboard them. Um, I just using up some um, scraps so this black and white stripe was just in my scrap box. This little number strip um, I used on a previous layout this month and I just I like it for a birthday because you know numbers birthday that kind of just works right so um, I used those this little piece that I'm um, adhering down now I guess that would be my title it says finders keepers and I thought it was kind of fitting just because he's looking for uh, a present and he found one he wanted and he got to keep it so that's why I used that there 
Um, I will put my journaling on this tag, but I don't have the journaling down when I took the pictures. But I'll just journal about how we went to Toys R Us for the first time and let Jonathan pick out his own birthday present. Um, and yep, just hearing down the August and I put the hello above there. This little yellow chipboard, that's from um, a Gossamer Blue kit. And I will put the date on there, even though if it's his birthday, clearly I know when his birthday is. Um, and that little flare, um, it's a flat flare, and these were made for me um, from my friend Becky. So I asked her specifically to make me flat flares, and so that's what she did. So that one just says this. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some little pluses around the layout. Um, and I just did that in three different areas. And that just brought in a little bit more of the black. And that little plus stamp that is from a Gossamer Blue kit. Designed by Tracy. <laughs> so <laughs> kind of neat right there, right? <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm just going to finish it off with some of my twine. But I, I will cut these papers in half. Um, and then I'll adhere the, the twine once it's in the my traveler's notebook. And that will pretty much finish off my spread. Uh, make sure you check out Tracy's video and see which sketch she decided to use this week. And I will um, link our sketches on the Create Craft Repeat community page on Facebook. If you're not part of our community, go ahead and check us out and feel free to play along with this uh, sketch challenge. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Have a good day. Bye.